Hello, YouTubers. I come to you from a train station in Japan, and you're probably wondering, Mr. Bartlett, what are you doing in a train station in Japan? Well, I'm not really. I'm just using special software that allows me to pretend like I'm there. But today we're going to talk about three different vocab words, and I'm going to leave this train station in Japan to come back to my uh, humble study in my house to talk about three words that uh, are the first three words in chapter five, which is the decline of the classical era. And none of these three words really have to do with decline at all. They have to do with beginnings. Um, they just don't have to do with Rome, India, or China. They have to do with places outside of these areas. Surely, you must be saying to yourself, there were other people in the world besides Romans and Chinese and Indians. And you're right. As a matter of fact, most of the people in the world at this time were not Chinese or Roman or Indian. They were people from other places. They just didn't belong to what we call these classical civilizations that had grown into empires. And so we're going to take a look at some of those places right now. And the words that we're looking at today are Shintoism, Teotihuacan, and Polynesians. So all three of those people did not lie anywhere near Rome. Uh, Shintoism or is the Japanese. Uh, Teotihuacan is Mesoamerica, far, far away from any of these civilizations. And then the Polynesians are also in uh, Oceania. And so we're going to look at the, these three words and kind of see how they fit in with the scheme of the classical age. So first is Shintoism. Shintoism is kind of the national religion of Japan. It's also kind of a the almost the ethnic religion of Japan because it's not really practiced other places in the world other than Japan. And so it's not one of those religions that has a strong missionary effort, but it fits well with other uh, religions, especially Buddhism, uh, which a lot of people practice uh, Buddhism and Shintoism in Japan. So let's kind of reverse and say, what is Shintoism? Shintoism is a polytheistic religion that is also animistic, which means that it kind of is, is dealing with the spirit world and the spirits that the Japanese believe uh, reside in most living uh, things or natural things, water and rocks, and one of the most important being the sun, and also rice, growing things, um, and also dead people, so the spirits of dead people. And so Shintoism is really about honoring or venerating those spirits and kind of seeking to connect with those spirits uh, in order to gain guidance, wisdom, or prosperity of some kind. So Shinto shrines are, are very simple. Um, there probably is an example of a Shinto shrine in these really corny uh, animations. I'll look for one while I'm talking, but it, I'm probably not going to find one. So Shinto shrine is kind of up, very simple, and a crossbar at the top, and is usually built in a very um, natural setting, like uh, right before the water, or, or, or a, a river, a lake, or a stream, uh, or mountains, or beautiful things in the background to kind of connect with those natural spirits. So again, it, it is the national religion of Japan, and it showed well, I'll talk about all of that in just a minute. It, but it did show that Japan had developed um, religious ideas at this time, and they had also developed uh, a distinct culture and a civilization. It just wasn't an empire, so it doesn't get as much attention as uh, Rome, China, or India. Uh, the next word is, let me look at my cheat sheet. Oh, Teotihuacan. So Teotihuacan is a city in central Mexico today, which is central Mexico, just north of Mexico City. Mexico City being one of the most famous cities because it was founded on Tenochtitlan, or the ancient city of the Aztecs. Um, but Teotihuacan is older than Tenochtitlan, and in fact um, is one of the oldest and biggest cities in Mesoamerica. It's unclear about who the founders of this city were, but it is clear that they um, uh, BCE, I mean, uh, between 1,000 and 500 years BCE, had developed extensive agriculture and use of tools and language and even astronomy, looking at calendars. And so uh, in central Mexico, which is Mesoamerica, American civilization did exist. It just wasn't a huge empire like the Romans or the Chinese or the Indians. And so it doesn't get a ton of attention either. But it did found, uh, become the foundation for later Central American uh, cultures such as uh, the, 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 well, the, the Inca, the Maya, the Olmec, uh, the Toltecs. In fact, they, the Toltecs may have actually been the ones who developed that city. So 
and the Aztecs, of course. And so uh, there was big civilization in Mesoamerica. And the last word, word number three, is Polynesians. So Polynesians are the people of the Pacific Islands. And poly means many, and Nisians means, well, Nisos, which is Greek for islands. So it's a Greek term, Polynesians. But the idea is it's the people of the many islands, which are out in the South Pacific. In the South Pacific Islands, there's, there's, there's over a thousand islands out there. And these people during the Classical Age had settled on these islands using very kind of basic outrigger canoes, but very advanced uh, navigation techniques and um, brought with them their culture. And they had a pretty lively culture based on tribes. And uh, the language of the Polynesians is linked to one another. So we see that they spread out over to these islands and created um, this chain of different island civilizations, all of which are somewhat different. So Samoa and Tonga and uh, uh, Fiji and these different islands that have, um, and even New Zealand, where we have distinct tribal peoples who are living there. Uh, in the Polynesian areas. So all three of these words have to do with areas outside of the major centers of civilization, but all of them also show that civilization was emerging in other places. It was just in these places, it was a little more limited due to geographic resources. So they didn't have as much natural resources as Rome, China, or India, um, but they still had distinct cultural ideas. So uh, till next time, stay awesome. I will talk to you later. Peace.